singing? You, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> what, I have what no idea. You know, it's been your life's work, right? It's not I have crazy. no idea. I did start out as a singer, and I didn't start out wanting to be a singer. Like I said, I started out on the cello. Then I went to guitar. And as a kid growing up, through junior high and high school, I was an instrumentalist. I mean, I sang because nobody else would sing. In these groups that I would play in, we did R&B and soul. I was uh, playing when I was a kid in bands. And uh, I, I was into the guitar, that was my thing. But because no one in the band would sing, I always ended up doing, doing the singing, not because I wanted to, but just from default, I ended up doing it. I always thought of myself as an instrumentalist who sang. But when I got to college, I don't know what happened. I, I started looking at the singing and I thought, let me, let me focus on voice. And so I became a voice major in music school. And I started studying voice more formally because up until then I didn't really take lessons. I was okay, but why do you keep doing it? I mean, I don't know. I get it, but like, there's I don't be, know. What is it for you about expressing what, what makes you not get tired of it? I don't you know. you listen to people sing, you... I don't know. I don't... Be, I think maybe it's because I don't know how to do anything else. It's the <laughs> thing that I've given so much time to, till, you know, this is what I do and I'm good at it. So let me just stick with what I know. I okay. think at this stage in the game, it's just a matter of, well, this is all I know how to really do well. So let me try that question from a different angle. <laughs> what... <laughs> I don't know why voice. I really don't. To tell what? you the truth, I, I would, if, I had, if I did it all over again, I would probably end up being a doctor, like a medical doctor. Yeah, honestly. I, I, really? Here's what I think. All right, this is going to get pretty weird and psychological. And Great. Personal. Finally, here we go. When I was a kid growing up, the way I got into music was because of my mother. My mother was in the music business. In fact, she and my father broke up because of her interest in wanting a career in music, and he didn't want to have it. He, she said, forget it. This is what I want to do. It, it all happened to her very accidentally, how she stumbled into it. But anyway, as it turned out, she became the first woman and the first person of color who was a woman that held in an executive position in a major white male-run music industry over at Columbia Epic Records. This is back in the 60s. This is a long time ago, long before women really had roles like this in the industry and a, and a person of color, especially so. But here she was working under people like Clive Davis back then, um, managing the whole West Coast region for a major record company in promotion and marketing. So she was quite a maverick for her time. What I'm getting at is, Given that situation and given that this was the late 50s, early 60s, um, she had to really separate herself out from being my mother and my sister's mother. Back in those days, a woman in a career like that wasn't deemed as somebody capable of having a career if they were also a mother. So she had to play like she didn't have kids, that she was single. And anytime we were with her, we were her younger siblings. My grandmother basically raised me. And I swear to God, I think the only reason why I got into music was so that I might, I might attract my mother's attention, my mother's love. Honest to God. Because I saw where so much of her energy was directed towards other artists. She was a publicist. She was in management. She did promotion. She had publishing and management. And so all of her time was devoted to artists and she didn't even live with us. You know, in fact, she had a place separate from where we grew up with my grandmother. She had to really keep some distance between us and her career. So to be honest with you, I think music was my way of reaching out to her with the hopes that she might notice me. And did that work? No, <laughs> it didn't. But by the time I realized it, didn't work and hadn't worked and wouldn't work, I was already too deeply involved in it. And do you think that on some level, some part of you is still um, looking for that love from the experience? Yeah, oh yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I ended up marrying my interest in music. Sure. So, you know, a lot of artists, they go through a lot of turmoil trying to make it. Um, it's hard. They have a lot of failure. And so it's, I think it's helpful for them to hear your personal stories about, um, you know, the fact that you shared your mother's, about your mother's love. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Mm -hmm.